Hey guys, welcome to the jungle. I've been in some pretty far out camping spots before, but this is next level. There's probably no habitation, no people or anything for at least a hundred kilometers around. Hang on, can you see the buildings in the shot? <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I'm camping out in the backyard, guys. I thought it might be a good idea to do a bit of a practical test of the uh, mighty Blue 80 AC60. Obviously, I couldn't take the Blue 80 out camping on the bike, so this is why I'm in the backyard. Um, yeah, obviously, you can take it in a four-wheel drive camping with you. I don't have a 4 so we're out here, um, and the good thing about that is I can bring my guitar. Still can't play it, but it's there. So obviously, the first priority when you go camping is getting your beers cold, so... I've got a six pack of tins there, they are warm. All right, so that's number one. Get the beers in the fridge. We're gonna get the Luetti cranked up. Hopefully you can see that there. It's got 82% on it, because I didn't charge it up from the last time I was using it. Um, apparently those lithium batteries don't like to be stored at full capacity, so. If you can hear that noise, sorry, there's a dickhead up the back sanding or something it's really annoying uh, when i'm trying to film but anyway people got to do their shit we'll get the pb120 out in the sun too as you can see it's not perfect solar charging conditions today but um we'll see how much we can get into it meanwhile we're going to be taking a fair bit out of it at the same time we've got a bunch of stuff here to charge my phone for starters desperately needs charging so we're putting that on uh, we'll get the drone charged up but takes a fair bit of juice bluetooth speaker the drill just for shits and giggles uh, i've got my light torch there which is dead flat yeah and whatever else we can find we'll really put this thing to the test but as i said first things first we'll get those beers in there get that fridge nice and cold i'll put it on turbo mode just really crank it try to get it cold um, before beer o'clock which is i mean about four hours it's about midday now and that noise is so annoying so yeah that's the uh, little blue eddy portable 120 watt solar panel folds up it's got four actual panels in there i'll show you that in a minute get this fridge going first one thing i would have liked to have seen on the blue eddy is an anderson plug port or connector you can use this cigarette lighter adapter but these i don't know the cigarette lighter plugs just aren't as reliable you know you just bump them wrong and the fridge goes off so i've turned the unit on turned on the dc See here we're drawing 45 watts fridge is running i will be going over some of the features of the blue 80 ac60 uh, in this video too guys it's a pretty cool little unit um, one other thing that i want to show you guys is the um the app for your phone so you can actually monitor what what it's doing while it's charging and while you're using it um, really handy that the app it's um just like the blue 80 itself really easy to use easy to set up you know let's get these beers in Alright, so I can hear the fridge going. The screen does go off on the Blue Eddy when you're not using it, so uh, if you want to bring the screen up again, you just hit the power button. Cool. Alright, let's get the solar hooked up, so we start putting power in as well as taking it out. As you can see there, the PV120S has got little fold-out legs, which is super handy. Get the perfect angle for the sun. And I've also got our MC4 adapter there, which goes into this uh, 12 volt plug. Just show it in there. Yeah, it went up to 123 watts just then, and you know, as I said, the sun isn't great today, but uh, it's there. We'll definitely be getting some power into the AC60. That fridge is actually drawing 90 watts at the moment. I think that's because it's on turbo mode. Anyway, as I said, I need to get my phone charged. I'm going to use the USB-C to USB-C PD cable. Um, it is a 100 watt output on this, so it should fast charge pretty well. I don't think my phone's actually capable of charging at 100 watts anyway, but um, it will charge as fast as it can. You do actually need to make sure you get a fast charging cable too, guys. Not all USB-C cables are fast charge fast charging one hour eight minutes till full cool so we've still got about oh, about 100 watts coming out and with that cloud over we've got about 16 watts going in that's all good i'm gonna have to charge the drone on the same port as this one because the old usba ports are not uh they're not quick charge ports they are they're only three amp outputs which is 
pretty good but yeah not QC quick charge. I'll definitely do for the old uh, Olight headlamp though. It doesn't need much power to charge at all. Plugged in there. Snap him on. It's a bit hard to see but yeah that's charging. The old Bluetooth speaker can't quick charge either so I'll put that into the old USB-A port. Definitely got to have the music going because you know I can't play that thing very well. Yeah, that's charging. Let's push it a bit, hey? Let's uh, get the old Ryobi drill battery uh, charging. Now, this I know is dead flat. We'll need the um, AC ports on to charge that, so plug him in first. Turn on the AC rail or whatever you call it. There we go. That one's charging too, so that's drawing an extra 50 watts, 55 watts. So we've got a total of 155 watts coming out now. Yeah, it's not stressing the um, the Blue Eddy at all. As it says there, it can handle 600 watts out. So uh, yeah, it's cruising, charging all these things <laughs> at once. They're pretty cool. And running the fridge. Yeah, that's still cycling. It is cooling down on there already. Beautiful. So yeah, we've uh, lost a total of 3% since I first turned it on. 79%, hopefully we get a bit of sunlight. Let those clouds bugger off a bit and uh, we'll uh, still have a bit of juice in the old AC60 by the end of the day. Maybe even tune up the old guitar, have a bit of music with a sander going in the background. Smash, smash, smash in my neighbor's face. I can't play the guitar. <laughs> anyway, quick status update guys, we're down to 71%. The beers are not quite cold enough to drink, but they're getting there. The Ryobi is charged. The speaker is charged. The phone is charged. Going yeah, well, and you know, as you can see, not getting much sun. I'll take all the stuff off that's fully charged now, and uh, yeah, get the drone on. That's the only thing that's left to charge up now. Okay, we'll see if the old drone fast charges. You can tell you can tell by how fast these lights go across. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. For whatever reason, the drone isn't fast charging. Doesn't seem to be anyway. It's only well, it says it's drawing zero watts, zero to one. It'll take a long time to charge at that rate because uh, yeah, even when it's fast charging, it takes forever. Could be something to do with the cord, or that cord is brand new and it did fast charge my phone so yeah i don't know hmm. yeah there is of course more than one way to skin most cats turn on the ac get your quick charge ac adapter see if that does it see if those lights start flashing quick i don't even know if you guys can see them in the video but there we go yeah that's fast charging and drawing 35 watts it's obviously not the most efficient way to do it running the inverter from DC to AC, back to DC again. But, uh, you know, whatever works, eh? What I need to do now is try and make sure I keep the panel in the sun, so that, well, we get any more sun, so I can get this up to hopefully 100%. I mean, it, it doesn't really drain that much overnight anyway. I think it probably use less than 50% um, of the AC60 to power that fridge overnight without any sun, obviously at night. Duh. While we're waiting for beer o'clock, I'll show you guys the, uh, the Blue Eddy app. Okay, as I said, this app is about as basic as you can get, um, but it tells you everything you need to know. Um, I'd recommend using an account with it. So all you need is an email address and a password. You can get a, you know, a Blue Eddy account and that will allow you to save your devices so you don't have to actually search for your device each time. I do have mine saved. Um, I'll go into the app here. So you've got login, register. I've already registered. I just need to log in. Agree to the uh, terms. Log in. There you go, it tells you the weather. Um, you can add more devices, get help, warranty, all that stuff. We're going to my devices. There's my AC60, last accessed 27 days ago. Click on it, you should be able to connect because it's just outside the window here. And there you go. Hopefully, you guys can see that. So, we've got 68%. Uh, state of charge at the moment we've got 93 watts going into the solar it's a little bit cloudy out there still 
We've got zero watts coming out of the DC. Um, we've got 34 watts coming out of the AC, which is the drone charging at the moment. Um, we can turn off the DC, turn off the AC, turn off the whole unit, and go in and check your battery. So if you have the additional battery packs connected, the B80s, uh, one or two of those, they will show up here as well, I believe, and you can see the uh, charge status of those. So you can also update the uh, firmware and stuff like that with this uh, app. Um, there's also other settings here. Um, you can change your, your charging mode. You've got standard turbo and silent, obviously, um, you know, if you're sleeping near the thing, if it's in your caravan or whatever, um, you might want to put it on silent. Yeah, it'll charge slower, but it will protect the batteries and also the fan won't work as much. Power lifting, I believe, if that's if you want to run something over 600 watts um, for a short period of time. Eco setting, you turn the light, the LED light on the back of it on and off, and then your firmware upgrade. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty basic guys, but it tells you what you need to know. Um, you can go into your solar panel and it'll tell you your, your PV, 110 watts coming in at the moment, 19 volts, 5.7 amps. To the AC voltage and everything, 229.6 volts, 34 watts going out. There you go guys, the, uh, the Blue Eddy app, very nice looking app, does everything you need it to do. Tells you what you need to know, and so easy to use. Definitely ain't getting much sun now. Got a thunderstorm coming in. <laughs> Way to quickly pack everything up. But this is reality, folks. This is reality. So the uh, fridge is still going in here. Dog's getting scared. Thunder buddy. Um, the drone has charged, so I'll take that off. Fridge is still hooked up and still going. Oops, I just pressed it off. Give it a turbo hit again. The beers are pretty cold, actually. Come on, come on in. Stupid dog. <laughs> it's starting to rain. But um, I'll chuck the solar panels back out once the sun comes back out. Hopefully it will after the storm passes. Still at 67%. Not bad. Good test for the, um, for the old AC60 anyway. Definitely hasn't gotten much sunlight today. So my beer clock soon enough. I'll go grab a couple more to throw in here. Gonna need it. <laughs> All right, let's get a couple of these bad boys in there. James Squires 150 lashes. Yeah, boy. Here we go, Mr. Bloody. 64%. Cool. No sun out there yet, but uh, hopefully soon. Anyway, let's uh, get one of these out and see if it's worthy of drinking. Feels like it. A bit frosty. Yeah, 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 she's cold. Alright, so as I sit here sucking on a nice cold beer, wishing I was still outside with me tent, I'll read through a few of the all important specs. If you're not that interested in this stuff, guys, you can skip forward. But uh, firstly, we've got a six year warranty with uh, the AC60, so a lot of these um, power bank or power station manufacturers only give you a five year warranty, so you know, Blue Eddy really stands behind their product. This thing is also IP65 dust proof and water resistant. So as you can see, it's got, you know, the rubber caps on all the ports and everything. Very handy, you know, sometimes you, you leave it out in the rain or uh, throw it in the back of the ute where it's going to get dusty or whatever. So yeah, handy, handy feature for sure. With 403 watt hours of capacity, expandable to uh, 2015 uh, watt hours with, uh, with two of those add-on B80 batteries uh, purchased separately so quite a, a decent capacity once you expand it. 600 watt output as I mentioned uh, can surge up to 1200 watts for a short period of time. If you enable that turbo charging like I showed you in the app uh, you can charge it from the wall outlet to 100% in one hour so <laughs> it's pretty quick charging. Uh, it's got the LIFE PO4 batteries with uh, 3000 plus life cycles up to 80% uh, which equals, um, I calculated, uh, it's just over eight years if you recharge it every day and use it every day. So 
that's a long time it should last quite a while so you can remote control the unit with the blue 80 out we've been over that has a pure sine wave inverter now watch another dude do a review of this unit and he had all the proper oscilloscopes and all that fancy stuff so you can be pretty sure that you're safe running uh, you know sensitive stuff like computers and whatnot with this uh, with this unit the inverter is like a really good quality it has a nice clean sine wave I don't know anything about that stuff but apparently it's good you can also use the AC60 as a UPS like an uninterruptible power supply so if you've got a, a computer or one of those CPAP machines that you needs to be running 24 7 you can plug into this keep this connected to your power grid power and if the power goes out this will immediately kick in and take over powering it and keep doing it until the either the power comes back on or it runs out of battery and finally we'll quickly go over the output ports i've mentioned before we've got the dc here the cigarette lighter plug you've got your 100 watt usb-c usb-a ports you've got your two ac plug sockets you've got your 15 watt wireless charging for your phone up on top there you've got your expansion your b80 battery plugs right there on the side and as for inputs well you've got your wall power plug there your dc in there for your solar etc and this other one down here is uh, your fuse and you've also got a grounding point here if you uh, want to ground it properly oh we've got a bit of sunshine i'm gonna i'm gonna grab it i'm gonna go put the panel back out and get a bit more juice into the old uh, ac60 it's getting to be practically late arvo piss week sun filtered through a cloud a thin cloud anyway but we are still getting 82 watts we'll take it we'll bloody take it getting more in than the fridge is taking out at the moment so all right looks like that's about all the sun we're going to get for today i did charge up the drone so I might as well get some drone footage I'll throw the ball for the dog can you get it can you get it get it all right so anyway as i said i'm going to leave the leave this going leave the fridge going overnight um, so we're on 63% now. Um, yeah. Let's grab one of these out. We'll see how it's looking in the morning. Alright, golden hour is almost upon us. Let's do it. You alright there? Day. Let's go and see how the blue lady's doing. Spoiler alert, I did actually uh, have a bit of a squeeze on the app this morning. Oh no, it's still got some charge in it. Uh, yeah, still 23% left. For some reason it's drawing 3 watts without the fridge cycling, so not sure what's going on there. Oh man, those beers are cold, beautiful. Definitely got some sunshine today, so I'll get that panel out and charge the um, blue lady back up to a safe level. Like I think they say to keep it around about 80%, so uh, yeah, I'll do that. Ready for the next time I need to use it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you get your 3% off the uh, AC60. Um, links in the description guys with my code. 
and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers, happy camping.